set in a first net. And we place the ring into the one of the tunnel. That way the rabbit's feet always run across it. It helps it pace. And always make sure you get a good secure peg into the ground. Again. Open it right up. Keep your bottom peg following the run. Open it up so the rabbit can walk onto it. Lay it over so you get a nice face selection. And like I say, get a good nice peg into the ground. Are oh, you going to lose rabbits? Now well then, just having a day out of ferreting today. Thought I'd go through the gear I use while I'm out and about doing a bit of ferreting. So first of all, when I find a, a, a warren, I look for activity. I usually use a marking dog, they use a good nose on them, but otherwise I look for fresh dig, I look for rabbit droppings, I look for any kind of disturbance, short of grass where they might have been chewing. Then once I found a warren I think that might be successful, I start to lay my nets. The first choice of nets I use is a thing called purse nets. Exactly what they sound like. They open up, go over the hole, peg into the ground, and then when a rabbit runs into him, they purse up like that and bunch up and catch the rabbit. They now walk over quickly, dispatch him, problem solved. They fit for human consumption then because they've not been touched by a dog or a rabbit or a ferret either. The problem is though, sometimes the rabbits will always run out and the ferrets can grab them. At this point the ferrets can kill them underground, in which case we need one of these. A ferret finder. This will help me locate my ferret if it's in the ground. I'll show you now. My ferret is wearing a collar which gives off a signal. This, sig this collar here. So when I turn it on, I get a an audio of how close he is and they also get a visual of how far away he is so if I know he's about two foot down in the ground that's where he's got a dead rigget, rabbit and unfortunately at that point that's when this comes out and we have to start digging once we get to within a half a foot then we get the trowel as to not to damage the ferret if at any point, get him back in the box, if at any point we come across 
something that's a bit too hard to dig through, a tree root, anything like that. That's why we have things like these. These will dig through tree roots. And that's pretty much it. That's ferret in a nutshell. Cover the holes with nets, put a ferret down there. Sit quietly, that's important, because a ferret, a rabbit won't ball out if he thinks there's danger out there. Sit quietly, then eventually a rabbit will pop out and you grab it. Happy days. Hope you enjoy today's outing. Just like to take a few minutes on to why I do work my ferrets for rabbits. There's several reasons. Rabbits do breed like crazy, as the saying goes in, and they will breed all year round, especially with global warming. The problem is that incurs diseases like myxomatosis, which gives them a horrible, painful way to die. It's not really worth it. Also, crop protection. There's around 40 million rabbits in the UK, and that costs £260 million in damages alone. That could be damage to hedgerows, damages to crops. Compared to 62 million rats, that's quite a lot of rabbits is 40 million, and there's only 14 million grey squirrels. Also, it gives us free food. I'll eat it, the ferret eats it, Everyone's a winner.